Welcome to Steam Culture. It is a beautiful spring day. The sun is bright. That's why I'm squinting off the building in front of me, but I love being outside. So I hope you're getting the same kind of weather we are. Well, let's get to the topic at hand. Now, you remember last week, we talked about how steam was used to melt the permafrost in the Klondike Gold Rush. In that whole time and era, we're gonna stay there with something called a steam donkey. Now, in the late 1800s, the logging industry was at full uh, full force, really gaining, uh, gaining steam. I was gonna say gaining ground, but gaining steam so much better. And they really needed to up the operations because after they cut a tree down, they were using oxen and horses to pull the logs to the transportation site. So they came up with this thing called a steam donkey. Well, here's what you need to know about the steam donkey. One, why is it called a donkey? Well, apparently they said the boiler was not big enough and deserving of a horsepower rating. So I think steam donkey is kind of like a backhanded slap in the face. So they called it a donkey boiler. Two, it's a boiler, it's a steam engine, and it's a winch. All placed on two very large logs that are carved into skids, sort of resembling a pontoon boat. Uh, and I'll explain why in a minute. And third, sometimes it was called the Dole Beer Donkey Boiler. And that was because the inventor's name was John Dole Beer. And he invented this thing in 1881 to help mechanize the, uh, the logging industry. So like I said, this was the first form of mechanization in the logging industry was steam out on the front edge of everything. So here's how this thing worked. They would bring it in as far as they could on rail and then they would drag it. So this thing would, whenever they were taking it to its first site, or whenever they would clear off a patch and needed to move, they hooked a winch to the biggest tree they could find and they would drag themselves through the woods, which is why it needed to be on those big wooden skids. Now, eventually, the steam donkey went away, as a lot of steam engines did, giving way to diesel-powered engines. But it is a part of our history. It's a big part of our history. And if you want to see some history, there are abandoned donkey boilers all over. If you uh, YouTube steam donkey, and you'll find uh, pictures of them. People walk up on them and it's kind of neat. But there is a replica on the Grizzly River Run at Disneyland uh, in California. That's their water ride. You see these pictures here. Right at the start on the left, that is a steam donkey. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so while you're Googling to go find steam donkeys abandoned in the wilderness, you can go find us because we have great content for you each and every week. I'll have something for you next week. If you're enjoying spring weather like us, I hope you get more. Enjoy it. See you next week.